Hello everyone, welcome to News Extra, and the day has finally arrived. The public gets a chance to take a first-hand look at the renovation at the Gearing High School, and I have uh, Community Engagement Director of the Gearing Schools Foundation, Jennifer Seibel, with me, as well as Assistant Principal Corey Knight. Thank you very much for joining us today. Thanks for having us. Exciting day. Uh, it's finally arrived. You know, the work is pretty much all done, except for maybe a punch list thing here or there. Let's talk a little bit about the event itself coming up today. Absolutely. We are super excited to host our community onto the campus and to see the new Gearing High School. We've been working on this for a long time and we're excited to celebrate those uh, fruits of our labor coming to fruition. So um, we are hosting the event tonight at um, 4.30, although the ribbon cutting ceremony starts at 5.30 and will be about a 30 minute ceremony. And then from 5.30 to 7, we'll be hosting tours um, throughout the facility, just showing how really career pathways have come to life within our building and just highlighting some of the fantastic opportunities that we um, have received based on this new construction. Now, of course, the, the construction has uh, been ongoing during class, uh, during classes in session during the previous school year. Yes. Uh, you know, how has it been with students, you know, working around the workers who were working around them? Well, oh, first of all, I want to give kudos to the construction um, people of Hausman um, because they've been very professional in their working throughout our school day and have been very respectful of the fact that we have class to conduct. And in addition to that, I want to give more kudos to our students who have been fabulous through this process and have taken it very well, whether there's a ladder in the hallway once in a while or whatever it may be. Um, they've done a very good job with that. Staff as well have handled the, uh, the changes and um, the conditions very, very well and have kept um, education at the focus um, throughout the whole process, so it's been good. Yeah, it's something that, uh, of course, as a member of the news media, we've been keeping tabs on pretty close during the during all of the different phases and of course there are there are things that uh, people may not have gotten to see during the construction now. They'll get at least get to see the completed pro uh, completed project for the most part. Correct. Absolutely. There's a few areas in the building that are still um, being impacted by the construction, but by and large things are complete and um, will be ready for rollout here pretty soon. So um, when the community comes on Monday, they're going to see a, a pretty good finished product with a few areas that will continue to develop. And of course, uh, the celebration uh, coming up tonight, starting at 4.30 and going until uh, 8 o'clock in the evening. There's a whole lot that's uh, going into this, uh, in addition to just the ribbon cutting and the tours. And we'll be back on News Extra in just a moment and talk a little bit about that. And we're back on News Extra. We're talking about the uh, ribbon cutting ceremony and community celebration for the renovation of Gearing High School. I have uh, Gearing Schools Foundation Community Engagement Director Jennifer Seibel with me, as well as Assistant Principal Corey Knight, again, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. This is going to be a whole lot of fun coming up tonight. Now, of course, we have the ribbon cutting, we have tours that take place, but there's actually quite a bit more involved in this uh, as far as activities and students taking part. Right. We have a big, beautiful commons area now everyone's going to get to see. And in that commons area, we'll have um, an alumni zone set up. We, um, going through the building, found lots of uh, old yearbooks, vintage mm. yearbooks. Okay. And so we'll be selling those for $5, and the proceeds will go to um, our yearbook staff um, okay. for this year's publication. So if you want to reminisce, and come over to that table and we can have lots of old <laughs> reminiscing and memories. Um, we'll also be selling our Once a Bulldog, Always a Bulldog sh um, shirts through that, which can benefit our alumni scholarship fund. Mm -hmm. And then we will also have a kids zone. This is a very family friendly event. We want kids to have a great time too. So we will have um, hula hoops, a limbo, and um, some bulldog paw print face painting as well. Well, that's going to be a lot of fun. And then, yeah. of course, at 7 o'clock, it's not the end of the festivities. At 7 o'clock, we have homecoming pep rally. Correct. It culminates to our 7 o'clock welcome to paradise, uh -huh. homecoming that's pep right. rally. That's right. There's a theme. That's right. Our theme is a tropical theme this year, but it's also our new paradise at Gearing High School. And so we invite the community out to help celebrate. Um, we've had some great success athletically with our activities in the last couple of weeks and really pump up those teams and um, celebrate with us. We are highlighting... Um, some elementary and junior high performers that are going to be singing our fight song with us and um, some fun um, team activities that we'll be doing. So it's just going to be a really festive, fun environment. You know, Welcome to Paradise being the theme. I'm, I'm sure some of the students, once they came back to school at the beginning of this school year, 
they thought it was a paradise, I'm sure. Absolutely. Um, as Jennifer already mentioned, our big, beautiful commons has really been a popular spot in our building so far this year, and kids uh, make themselves right at home, um, not only in the morning, but at lunchtime as well. There's lots of seating, lots of places for people to study and um, do what they do with their friends, and it's a, it's been a really great addition to our building. It's had a nice flow and been very purposeful for us this year. I was going to say, it's not just about aesthetics, it's about education. Uh, of course, the expansion to bring in the Freshman Academy into the high school setting, uh, as well as uh, some new learning spaces and that, that are going to be utilized for a number of years, decades into the future. Ab absolutely. I love how the old and the new have come together um, to make it a fabulous new space for our, our students. Um, the Freshman Academy has been a great addition. Um, the students have assimilated very well into our 912 building now. Um, our FCS area and um, the finishing touches down there are happening at this time and there's just going to be a lot of great things happening. Our STEM area has come along with our lab and um, uh, the, the teachers and the kids have just come into that space like it's been there forever. Sure. So it's been a really great addition and yet seems like it's been there all along. <laughs> <laughs> so whether or not you happen to be a, a Gearing School patron, have a, a child in Gearing Schools, just a member of the community, even outside the community, that's the community celebration coming up tonight starting at 4.30 going into late o'clock. Uh, basically, a uh, ribbon cutting ceremony portion of it taking part at 5 30, sure. taking five, place at, at five, five. At five, five yep. at five. And then from 5 30 until seven tours uh, throughout the building. If you haven't had the chance to see inside, uh, I can tell you personally, it's really impressive. They've done an excellent job of updating and mixing, as uh, Corey said, the, 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 Corey said, the old and the new, blending those both together at Gehring High School. Jennifer, Corey, thank you very much for joining thank us you. on News Extra today. Thank you thank for you. having us. Thank you.